Uh, this is backcountryrunner.co.nz with 2012 Kepler Challenge winner Ruby Murr. Ruby, how's it going? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty uh, satisfied with today's win in a smoking fast uh, 5 hours 38. Yeah, well, it was much better than I was expecting. So. Yeah, I, um, I guess what, what were you expecting? Having uh, just gotten over knee surgery and then just a week ago getting uh, kind of getting your entry confirmed how's your how has your build-up been well I tried not to expect too much because I've had a few niggles and I wasn't even sure if I'd finish or be one of the people on the side of the track so I mean even finishing was good was alone. <laughs> yeah and you I mean you obviously yeah uh, I mean you must have thought you're in pretty good form with the run a few weeks ago when you're second overall 20 minutes behind Vajan yeah that surprised me because I had done that run before I was injured when I was feeling good and this time I was a good 10 15 minutes faster yeah yep. so I guess I was um I should have been able to predict that I'd do well today but yeah and uh how'd the race play out for you how was uh, um I mean I heard from someone that you guys were running uh kind of more or less all together the uh a few girls up up Luxmore for a while how uh, how did things go yeah, that was fun. It was my first time to run with a proper, you know, a strong female field. So it was my first time to have an actual leading pack of girls. There were four of us as we began the climb. Who who was uh, who who are you running with there? The four. Sarah Bus, um, Sharon Crumpton, and of course Victoria Beck. Yep. And um, yeah, at the top Sarah Bus was leading, and the other two had dropped behind a bit, and I just hung maybe a hundred meters back from Sarah all the way to the hut. Yep. Yeah. Nice. So when did you uh, pick off Sierra? Um, between, I think between Luxmore Hut and Forest Burn, she rolled her ankles. Like I was following her and I saw her roll her ankle about four or five times in a row. So that could have had something to do with it. I'm not sure. She didn't sound too happy. Yeah, yeah. So from there you, uh, I mean, how, how is that? You're obviously in the lead knowing, I mean, leading the the Kepler Challenge that, you know, a week ago you weren't sure if you are running uh How's that to, to take over the lead from there? How how'd it go? I try not to get too excited about it because this is I haven't run this long in a long time, yeah. and everyone says the race starts at thirty k's, and I had no idea if I was gonna, you know, bonk out somewhere along that last bit. The furthest I run the past few years is 40, 40 k's. So yeah. So your first ultra today. Yeah, yeah. Not a bad way to, to kick things off. No, no, it was a good good return to running. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, and that was so. Uh, just for people that don't know, the five thirty eight. That's the second fastest time ever behind the course record of five twenty three. Um, probably a little. I mean, we're only a few hours after the race. Probably a little early, but uh, I mean, you're kind of thinking, is that something you've you've got in in mind? I mean, pretty young. A lot of a lot of time ahead of you. Is that something you're yeah, looking towards? Yeah, I was. I mean, I've tried to enter this race twice in a row now, and I always thought I'd like to have a go at the record. I yep. wasn't planning to this year because I only found out about it in time to taper. But um, yeah, I'd like to try next year because it's a good fast record. Like it's yep. an exciting thing to. Yeah, it's uh, obviously a very very respectable record. Um, so uh, I mean. I mean, you won't have a, any problem getting an entry next year, at least. Yeah. But uh, as far as, as your, I mean, like you said, you only had time to tape it. Do you think that that probably helped the fact that you, you know, you're well rested, had a lot of speed? Um, um, I mean, it did help. I'd say in the past, I've been, I can only assume I've been overtrained because I've been running for three months now since all my time off and I'm making better times. Yeah. And if I'd known that Kepler was coming up post surgery, I probably would have pushed things a bit too far and come into this, you know, injured in some way or another. Yeah, yeah, injured yeah. and fatigued. Was that something that your uh, coach went over uh, with with you? you <laughs> I mean, I am just assuming that you, you have a coach or. Uh, yeah, well, Christian Day likes to think he is. I know. <laughs> so he's always telling me how far to run and I'm never listening to him. He was pretty strict on his taper plans, and yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, obviously, I mean, anyone looking, uh, you know, looking at your time today would probably thought that you, that you timed, uh, you know, your training to perfection with with that kind of run. Um, obviously, looked like a pretty good, pretty good training. Worked pretty well. Mm, and luck, yeah. Yeah, luck. <laughs> Very lucky. And uh, I guess uh, I mean, you run for Barefoot Inc. Um, with with Five Fingers and uh, and. Ultra Aspire, um, pretty good sponsors. I'll be pretty pretty stoked with you today. I'm guessing. Yeah, I was really pleased. It was my first first proper run with that pack, 
and yep. no rubs or anything. I was, didn't even notice the weight. So yeah, was, nice. Yeah. Oh, good stuff. Well, hey, thanks uh, very much, Ruby. And again, congratulations. That was a very impressive run that uh, I was lucky enough to witness <laughs> firsthand. Uh, so, yeah, no, great job. And uh, look forward to the future. Well, actually, what is, what's coming up next for you now that I... Um, probably next will be the Kawikas, Kawika yep. Mountain Marathon. Yep. And looking towards Tatawera. Although, of course, partway through the run today, I was telling myself, there's no way I'm doing Tanawera. Yeah, the 100k. Ask me tomorrow and I'm sure I'll be keen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice. Oh, good stuff, Ruby. We look forward to, uh, to following uh, those races. Sweet. Cheers.